The Minister of State for Petroleum, Timipre Silva, has announced that there will be a major investigation to unravel the cause of the methanol and petrol imported into the country. He disclosed this on Wednesday during a media briefing after the Federal Executive Council meeting in the State House. Although the minister refused to disclose the identities of the companies involved, he said they will be made known after the investigations are concluded. Well, joining us now at this hour is Chinedu Okadike, PPRO Ipman. Hello, Mr. Okadike. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. And for those who, who, who are in doubt, Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria is what IPMAN stands for. Now, first of all, bring yeah. us to speed. Bring us to speed as to the situation right now regarding this bad fuel situation. Well, uh, to be sincere and honest, I watched uh, the news commentary and the uh, uh, reaction of uh, some of the promoters uh, blaming independent marketers uh, for this misfortune. It is very, very uh, unfortunate uh, that this kind of a thing will uh, happen in this country. I also want to also let you know the, the position of independent marketers as far as the distribution system is concerned. We normally take our petroleum products from the inland because and the PDOs of NMPC. And NMPC is a major supplier of uh, PMS uh, in this country. So we don't have uh, any justification to hold petroleum products. Once the product is there, we are service oriented. It is only a business in Nigeria that governments have regulated and has over overseas. So in terms of bringing petroleum products, they, they have the DTR that do the P and Q uh, inspection of uh, cargoes that will be uh, and buy these products. Um, as innocent uh, uh, buyers, and uh, what we see in our finish session is this kind of a chaos. Okay, so you said you, you, you buy from the NNPC. Uh, are you saying that the NNPC should be held responsible for this? Because the first question one asks is how did this get into the country? How did it come in? Yeah, it is very, very clear, crystal clear. Uh, uh, the MD of uh, NMDPR has owned up Mr. Farouk, has owned up that the product uh, that was found in some of our police stations and some various tank farms is imported by NMPC. And also the minister uh, recently have also said that they are going to investigate to know how those products enter. So the NMPC is the major importer of petroleum products because of the, of the subsidy. So it is not uh, based on independent marketers who uh, relatively constitute 90% uh, of uh, the value chain in terms of uh, distribution of petroleum products in the looks and cranny of this country. Uh, we are not supposed to be held responsible. And we are profit-oriented. We want to do our business, we want to sell and make a profit because we invested heavily uh, to build some of these finish stations. So the, 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 this thing is clear, the issue is clear. And NPC have already taken up uh, that responsibility, and federal government have also uh, moved in to investigate via the minister uh, to know how this is managed to come into this country. It is not the first time this kind of thing has happened. Now, the time also uh, ethanol was uh, uh, brought into this country, and uh, they were able to, uh, within a, a short period, evacuate it back to the tank and blend it uh, with the normal PM. So it is not the responsibility of independent marketers. So they would account how the products come. We buy our products genuinely from uh, private uh, tank farm owners and the uh, inland depots of uh, PPM. Okay, indeed, um, Farouk Ahmed, uh, the, the president, has uh, ordered that he be queried. Um, so that's one. And also, he has come out today to let us know that. Um, 300 million liters of petrol uh, meant to close the gap created by the contaminated uh, petrol withdrawn from depots, uh, you know, have been brought into the country. There is still panic buying. When do we see a change now that we have this coming in? You know, this, this is a circulation system and everybody wants to be on the move. All uh, commuters want to be on the move. Nobody wants to be halted. One word. So once there is a trick, 
of the little bit of the little problem in terms of trying to close the gap. And that is why NMPs have gone further to ensure that they are bringing three more vessels to be able to uh, flood the market with the uh, uh, petroleum product. So we, within this period of time, it definitely uh, people will do panic buying. And uh, that panic buying will bring in some uh, ghost cues uh, uh, here and there. And it's not going to last uh, less than what the other things will be taken care of. And uh, since uh, uh, Nigeria has been reassured that uh, it will be uh, enough sufficient for, for uh, users, I think they will relax. So it is not based on independent market. We are ready to sell for eight hours. If provided security, we will sell for eight hours. We are business oriented, and this is the only business the government to regulate its profit. Even when we have um, a few a big monitors in few, few, few profits, we are still in business. Uh, we are we're not deterred. Well, there is the issue. Before we go, the issue of damaged vehicles, damaged uh, generators, and all of that as a result of this bad fear. Who should be, who is going to compensate Nigerians who have been affected? And I'm sure you, the market, are also looking for some sort of compensation. Tell us how this is going to work out and how it should play out. Well, we are the last people that get the drum because we are the last chain of uh, this uh, distribution uh, business. And the special managers that the police normally come to arrest on um, my vehicle is damaged and all the rest of them. But I also know that the national president of Ipman, Allah uh, Ahmed, is on top of this matter to see how uh, the NPC and the federal government will get some of this vehicle that is in our family. This uh, product has gone far. It has slipped into the uh, Nigerian market. And there is nothing we can do about it than to see how we can be able to turn off those filling stations because uh, a, a monitoring team has been set up by each man today to be able to ascertain the, the filling stations that are being affected and uh, to make proper arrangement of logistics to be able to evacuate the safety checks and all the rest of them. Because uh, PMA is a very high volatile product. That we also have a serious uh, uh, problem of uh, uh, brand. Most of our affiliations have been to ensure that they have a very good brand and they are able to sell uh, appropriate petroleum products to their uh, to the customer. Now, some of these people who have suffered this thing on, uh, are now suffering undue hardship because they will not have confidence uh, in, in their customers and they will lose their customers. So I also appeal, based on what the national president has done today, that to ensure that the federal government will have the synergy with the independent market so to be able to find out those places that this uh, fuel has been left out of the use and vehicles that have been damaged to see how these vehicles can be uh, repaired. So that these development materials will not get a loss. Okay. Now I'm also talking to you now, most of these are the products are in some of our hands. So they have 6,000 liters, so come to liters. Nobody is talking about how will they be refunded? So it is what government should come and see, and we will be able to come and so that we fresh products will be given to those marketers, so that those bad ones will be evacuated, and they will lose, they won't lose their capital, and also they will not lose their uh, uh, brand. As well, thank you so much, Mr. Chinedu Ukadike, PPRO Ipman, for your time and insight. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.